this time, I'd like to call to order the Franklin County Board of Commission. There's a general session. Today is August 12, 2021, and we'll begin with the Pledge of Allegiance led by Commissioner O'Grady. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Let's see here. All right, uh, before we begin with the uh, approval of the minutes, I'd like to take a personal point of privilege to just thank and recognize uh, Jessica Sullivan, who is moving on to greater pastures. Um, she's worked for me since I became a commissioner and has truly been um, a guidance, a leader in our office, and a confidant, and, and just in every way, um, one of the best employees that you could have. And when you work with someone over the years, you come to, to get to know them on a personal level. And, but it's not often that you can say that someone who's worked for you has really become a friend. And, and that's what she has become to me. And I wish her nothing but the best. Um, she is a committed and dedicated public servant that is smart, hardworking, uh, and, and certainly um, knows how to handle me, that's for sure. Um, and I'm going to miss her. I'm going to miss her, uh, but, I, but I also am excited for what her future holds. I'm excited for the things that she can and will do because she's a very special individual. And uh, Experience Columbus is lucky to have her and, uh, and, and smart to pick her off. Brian Ross will, uh, is dead to me as of now, but uh, other than that, so no, I'm kidding, he's not. He's, I actually encourage him to do it. And, uh, and I think that it's a great match for the both of them. And so, uh, Jessica, I know you're probably watching. I hope you are, and I hope you hear this. And I just want to say publicly, thank you. I appreciate you so much. I'm going to miss you. And um, you can't even, you, there's no words to say how you can't be replaced. And so um, I'm, I'm sure I speak on behalf of the BOC when we all say thank you for your service. We appreciate you. I hope she was watching. Maybe she wasn't, and so I don't know. <laughs> if not, there's a recording. I'm here. Thank you so much. Uh, do you um, do you want to say just something, thank Jessica? Thank you for the opportunity to work for your office. It's been truly an invaluable experience, and just um, the entire BOC in 26-4 is truly incredible. And I just feel privileged to have worked here. So thank you. Thank you. And as you can see, she's not much for a lot of words. <laughs> she's right <laughs> to the point, but. Uh, but you got a great reputation around here. I know everyone thinks very highly of you, and uh, we're all going to miss you. But we'll look forward to working with you, and we know that you're going to be representing Franklin County in a different level, in a different way. Uh, but you'll take all the experience you have here and, and share it over there and, and make Central Ohio a better place. So thank you. Thank you so much. And I'll, I'll still be up on the 26th floor to, to bug team boys from time to time. <laughs> we look forward to that. All right, we'll keep it moving. All right. We'll miss you, Jess. Uh, and, and that means you can't you can't be sneaking to the restaurants that John picks out, you know. So <laughs> can't you, you know you're you know you're always welcome to you're come invited. to those. You're invited. Always, President Boyce, we we will miss her. I I told her that uh, I'm glad I uh, work with the Experience Columbus a lot. So I I still be seeing and working with. Her. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> All right. All right. We'll keep it moving here. Thank you so much. Um, as a reminder to everyone, this is a public meeting and is being recorded. For those calling in, please ensure that you've muted your phone line by pressing star six, and we appreciate your cooperation. With that, is there a motion to approve the minutes of July 27, 2001 general session, the July 28, 2021 administrative briefing, and the August 5, 2021 briefing session? Move to, move to approve the minutes. Second. Moved and seconded voting. Commissioner Grady? Yes. Commissioner Boyce? Yes. Thank you. The minutes have been approved. Thank you. First up is comment, quarter comment, please. Resolution number 58121, resolution authorizing a grant agreement with the State of Ohio Department of Rehabilitation and Correction for the targeted community alternatives to prison program in the amount of $4,500,000. Good morning, commissioners. Kimberly Canada, Director of Finance with the Common Police Court General Division. And with me is Melissa Pearson with the Office of Justice Policies and Programs. This resolution authorizes a grant agreement with the Ohio Department of Rehabilitation and Corrections for the targeted community alternative to prison program in the amount of 4.5 million. 
pursuant to the MOU, the Board of Commissioners Sheriff will receive 50% of the funding and the Common Police Court will receive 50% of the funding. The court will use the funding to support offsetting the cost of 12 risk reduction probation staff in alignment with the adoption of the evidence-based supervision practices. These officers supervise the felony four and five population of the offenders impacted by the legislation associated with TCAP, with a focus upon addressing probationers risk and recidivism reduction. Melissa will speak to the other half. Good morning, commissioners and I have everyone on the screen. Uh, our office, as Kimberly mentioned, does administer a portion of the TCAP grant funds and will continue to do so with the FY22-23 funds. Uh, to give you a little um, snapshot of what we do fund, we fund uh, programs like the FUSE program, which stands for Frequent Users of System Engagement. Uh, we provide uh, transitional housing and long-term housing for those individuals that really have a a hard time with um, stable housing, and this is a diversion out of our crisis care systems, our hospitals, our shelters, and, and the jail, quite frankly. Additionally, we'll continue to support programs like electronic monitoring and work release, with, which offer options for alternatives to the jail and to our prison system. And this year, we are gonna create a competitive TCAP grant program. So we will be releasing an RFP in September, October, uh, for which governmental and non-governmental organizations can apply for the grant funds competitively. Uh, we anticipate that programs that support any, anything related to recovery, uh, anything related to the opioid um, epidemic, uh, along with um, other non-traditional um, non uh, diversional alternatives out of the jail and prison system will, will likely be funded as part of the TCAP program. Any other questions, we request your approval. All right, if there's no questions, I'll move approval resolution 581-21. Second. Moved and seconded voting. Commissioner O'Grady? Yes. Commissioner Boyce? Yes. Resolution number 581-21 has been adopted. Resolution number Thank five. You. Thank you, Director. Resolution number 58221. Resolution authorizing a contract with the Ohio Department of Rehabilitation and Justice Reinvestment and Incentive Grant Program in the amount of $2,069,376. This resolution approves the grant agreement for the state fiscal year 22 and 23 with the Ohio Department of Rehabilitation and Corrections. This grant agreement provides funding for community outpatient treatment services, as well as for the POWER program, which is in collaboration with the Adult Probation Department, ALVIC, and the Ohio State University, Talbot Hall. This program provides treatment for both male and female probationers who are opiate addicted to include detox, medically assistant treatment, Vivitrol, programming, and outpatient treatment. Additionally, this grant provides funding for three full-time FTEs. Pending any questions, we also request your approval. There are, excuse me, if there are no questions, I'll move approval of resolution 582-21. Second. Moved and seconded voting. Commissioner O'Grady? Yes. Commissioner Boyce? Yes. Resolution number 582-21 has been adopted. Thank you. Thank you. Next corner. Resolution number 583-21. Resolution authorizing the acceptance of a Coverdell Forensic Science Improvement Grant, Franklin County Forensic Science Improvement, for the purchase of laboratory supplies, offset increased opioid-related testing costs, reduce forensic toxicology backlog, and expand the testing scope in the amount of $39,317.18. Good morning, Commissioners. I am Dan Baker, Chief Toxicologist at the Franklin County Forensic Science Center, Office of the Coroner. This resolution seeks the approval for the Paul Coverdale Forensic Science Improvement Grant in the amount of $39,372.18. This grant, again, will be used to purchase laboratory supplies, offset increased opioid-related testing costs, reduce forensic toxicology backlog, and expand upon our testing scope. Uh, the overall result will um, be enhancement of services provided uh, by our office to the communities and individuals of Franklin County. There are any questions on move approval of resolution 583-21? Second. Moved and seconded voting. Commissioner O'Grady? Yes. Commissioner Boyce? Yes. Resolution number 583-21 has been adopted. 
Thank you. Next is the engineer. Engineer. Commissioner, we begin with one of three public hearings this morning, sir. Yep, thank you, uh, clerk. And we have a public hearing. Can the clerk please read the public hearing notice? Resolution regarding establishing, altering, and widening of the hot ditch drainage improvement project from No Bigsby Road to an outlet west of Portman Road, Madison Township, Franklin County, Ohio, viewed, engineer to file plans as necessary. At this time, I'd like to open up the public hearing for this resolution. Is there anyone here in the audience who would like to speak on this public hearing? Okay, seeing that there are none, I would like to close the public hearing and have the clerk read the resolution into the record. Resolution number 584-21, establishing, altering, and widening of the hot ditch drainage improvement project from No Bigsby Road to an outlet west of Portman Road, Madison Township, Franklin County, Ohio, viewed engineer to file plans as necessary. Good morning, commissioners. My name is Cornell Robertson, Franklin County engineer. Can you hear me okay? Yep, we can hear you. Before I get into my presentations, I want to let you all know that the Boar Road Bridge emergency project is going very well. I presented that emergency resolution on July 27th. We started demolition the next week, and it's a good thing we did. When we removed the bridge deck, we planned to use a hoe ram, but the deck was easily removed with a regular track hoe bucket, confirming our bridge inspections, corroded reinforcement steel, delaminated concrete, and thereby the presence of actual physical disaster. Thank you to the prosecuting attorney's office for helping us with the resolution, and thank you to you commissioners for approving that resolution. And now with the regularly scheduled program, if you don't have any questions on that situation. This hot ditch drainage improvement is in the southeast part of the county in Madison Township along Hot Ditch from No Bixby Road to an outlet west of Portman Road. Under our jurisdiction, the drainage engineer has 94 miles of open channels and 147 miles of tiled ditches. Many of those tiles were built over 100 years ago with pipes designed to last 50 years. With support from the Board of Commissioners, our stormwater management program has become more proactive and less reactive which is being noticed and appreciated by our constituents and farming community. However, there is much work to be caught up. Hot Ditch is an existing ditch petition updated in the 1950s, crosses multiple jurisdictions and needs to be improved. It was not recently repetitioned as we've seen for other watersheds with approximately 2,500 property owners in the watershed. It is simply not a good candidate for the ditch petition process. Instead, this drainage project is one that we have identified as needing attention sooner rather than later. And I propose that it be a collaborative project, including the city of Columbus. This particular resolution is the second in a series of two to declare the project necessary, states the project was viewed on August 3rd and allow, allows the engineer's office to begin designing the improvement. Happy to answer any questions you may have. If there are no questions, I'll move approval of resolution 584-21. Second. Moved and seconded voting. Commissioner O'Grady? Yes. Commissioner Boyce? Yes. Resolution number 584-21 has been adopted. <coughs> so much there. Okay. Can we go? All right. We have, another, we have another public hearing. Can the clerk please read the public hearing? Resolution regarding plans approved for the improvement of Morris Road at Babbitt Road, Plain Township, and Jefferson Township, Franklin County, Ohio. Okay. Um, at this time, I'd like to open up the public hearing for this resolution. Is there anyone here in the audience who would like to speak on this public hearing? Okay. Seeing it, there are none. I would like to close the public hearing and have the clerk read the resolution into the record. Resolution number 585-21, plans approved for the improvement of Morris Road at Babbitt Road, Plain Township and Jefferson Township, Franklin County, Ohio. Commissioners, as stated, this capital improvement project is in the northeast part of the county on the line between Jefferson Township and Plain Township at the intersection of Morris Road and Babbitt Road, where we plan to build a single lane roundabout in 2022 
utilizing ODOT safety funds and funds from Ohio Public Works Commission. With this resolution, I am asking you to approve and sign the plans so we can schedule the project for construction. If not already, I will see that the plans are delivered to Clerk Hendon Lane for you all to sign. Pending any questions, I request your approval. There are no questions. Uh, we have approval of resolution 585-21. Second. Moved and seconded voting. Commissioner O'Grady? Yes. Commissioner Boyce? Yes. Resolution number 585-21 has been adopted. Our last of three, Commissioner. Oh, we got no? Yes, sir. One more. Okay. Okay. Um, we have a public hearing. Can the clerk please read the public hearing? Resolution regarding the final hearing for establishing, altering, and widening of Reynoldsburg, New Albany Road at Havens Road, Jefferson Township, Franklin County, Ohio. All right. I'd like to open up the public hearing at this time for this resolution. Is there anyone here in the audience who would like to speak on this public hearing? Okay, seeing that there are none, I'd like to close the public hearing and have the clerk read the resolution into the record. Resolution number 586-21, final hearing for establishing, altering, and widening of the Reynoldsburg, New Albany Road at Havens Road, Jefferson Township, Franklin County, Ohio. Commissioners, this capital improvement project is also in the northeast part of the county, in Jefferson Township, at the intersection of Reynoldsburg, New Albany Road, and Havens Road. It is a cooperative project to build a roundabout and rehabilitate Havens Road Bridge over Black Lake Creek with funding from Franklin County, Jefferson Township, and the Ohio Department of Transportation. With this resolution, I'm asking you to approve and sign the right-of-way plan so we can begin the right-of-way acquisition process. Not already, I will see that the title sheet is delivered to Clark Lane for you all to sign. I respectfully request your approval of this resolution. There are no questions or comments. I'll move approval of resolution 586-21. Second. Moved and seconded voting. Commissioner O'Grady? Yes. Commissioner Boyce? Yes. Resolution number 586-21 has been adopted. Resolution number 587-21, establishing, altering, and widening of Commerce Street, Voss Road, County Road number 233 from Lockbourne Road, County Road number 13 to Canal Road, Township Road number 247, Hamilton Township, Franklin County, Ohio, declared necessary. This capital improvement project is in the southeast part of the county in Hamilton Township and the village of Lockbourne, where Commerce Street goes under a Norfolk Southern Railroad Bridge and a CSX Railroad Bridge between Lockbourne Road and Canal Road. This resolution is the first in a series of two to declare the project necessary. Happy to answer any questions you may have. If there are no comments or questions, I'll move approval of resolution 587-21. Second. Moved and seconded voting. Commissioner O'Grady? Yes. Commissioner Boyce? Yes. Resolution number 587-21 has been adopted. Resolution number 588-21. Resolution granting approval to declare equipment obsolete and no longer needed for Franklin County use and authorizing sale of said equipment. Yes, commissioners, this resolution seeks authorization to declare equipment obsolete and authorizes the sale or proper disposal of the identified equipment, including zero turn mowers, tractors, and a storage tank. We will allow political subdivisions a designated period of time to bid and purchase those items before offering them for public auction. Pending any questions, I request your approval. There are no questions or, <coughs> or comments on the approval of resolution 588-21. Second. Moved and seconded voting. Commissioner O'Grady? Yes. Commissioner Boyce? Yes. Resolution number 58821 has been adopted. Resolution number 58921, report first of the Franklin County engineer establishing sums of compensation for a portion of the owners of property abutting the Hoover Road 2.04 over tributary of Grant Run, JAC-CR 262-2.04, improvement project, Jackson Township, Franklin County, Ohio, in the amount of $1,282. This bridge replacement project is in the southwest part of the county in Jackson Township along Hoover Road over a tributary of Grant Run. This resolution is the first report for right-of-way acquisition and includes two properties. The appraisals were based on fair market value and we coordinated with the prosecutor's office. I respectfully request your approval of this resolution. 
If there are no comments or questions, I will move approval of resolution 589-21. Second. Moved and seconded voting. Commissioner O'Grady? Yes. Commissioner Boyce? Yes. Resolution number 589-21 has been adopted. Resolution number 590-21. Report first of the Franklin County County engineer establishing sums of compensation for a portion of the owners of property abutting the Schleppy Road drainage and simplified bridge 0.97 improvement project, Plain Township, Franklin County, Ohio, in the amount of $2,125. This drainage improvement project is in the northeast part of the county in Plain Township to replace a culvert on Schleppy Road and improve 500 feet of storm sewer drainage between the structure and the county line with Delaware County. This resolution is the first report for right-of-way acquisition and includes two properties. The appraisals were based on fair market value and we coordinated with the prosecutor's office. Happy to answer any questions you may have. If there are no comments or questions, I'll move approval of resolution 590-21. Second. Moved and seconded voting. Commissioner O'Grady? Yes. Commissioner Boyd? Yes. Resolution number 590-21 has been adopted. Resolution number 591-21, report fourth of the Franklin County Engineer, establishing sums of compensation for a portion of the owners of property abutting the Elliott Road and Hayden Run Road drainage improvement project, Brown Township and Washington Township, Franklin County, Ohio, in the amount of $18,979. As stated, this drainage improvement is in the northwest part of the county in Washington Township along Elliott Road and along Hayden Run Road. The project will reconstruct Joseph Carr Ditch by repairing and replacing drainage tile, some of which is 100 years old. It will also upgrade roadway drainage with regraded roadside ditches and new roadway drainage crossings. This resolution is the fourth report for right-of-way acquisition and includes two properties. Again, the appraisals were based on fair market value and we coordinated with the prosecutor's office. Pending any questions, I request your approval. There are no comments or questions. I'll move approval of resolution 591-21. Second. Moved and seconded voting. Commissioner O'Grady? Yes. Commissioner Boyce? Yes. Resolution number 591-21 has been adopted. Resolution number 592-21, report eight of the Franklin County Engineer establishing sums of compensation for a portion of the owners of property abutting the Morris Road at Babbitt Road Improvement Project, Plain Township and Jefferson Township, Franklin County, Ohio, and the amount of $30,665. Yes, commissioners, this capital improvement project is in the northeast part of the county on the line between Jefferson Township and Plain Township at the intersection of Morse Road and Babbitt Road, where we plan to build a single lane roundabout again in 2022, utilizing ODOT safety funds and funds from Ohio Public Works Commission. This resolution is the eighth report for right-of-way acquisition and includes four properties. The appraisal was based on fair market value and we coordinated with the prosecutor's office. I respectfully request your approval of this resolution. If there are no comments or questions, I'll move approval of the resolution 592-21. Second. Moved and seconded voting. Commissioner O'Grady? Yes. Commissioner Boyce? Yes. Resolution number 592-21 has been adopted. Resolution number 593-21. Resolution awarding contract and approving contract bond to Double Z Construction Company for the Hoover Road over tributary of Grant Run in the amount of $337,894.85. Again, this bridge replacement project is in the southwest part of the county in Jackson Township along Hoover Road over a tributary of Grant Run. This resolution is a construction contract award with Double Z. We held a competitive bid on July 13th of 2021. Fortunately, we had four bids, and fortunately, Double Z had an acceptable bid, and they were also the lowest and best bid. This is a locally funded project. Therefore, the Franklin County Engineers Equitable Business Enterprise Program has been implemented with an EB aspirational goal of 6%. Hertz Trucking and Follow the River will be the subcontractors to meet or surpass that goal. Happy to answer any questions you may have. There are no comments or questions. I'll move approval of resolution 593-21. Second. Moved and seconded voting. Commissioner O'Grady. Yes. Commissioner Boyce. Yes. Resolution number 593-21 has been adopted. Resolution number 594-21.
resolution awarding contract and approving contract bond to BUDS Incorporated for the combined Schleppe Road drainage improvement and Schleppe Road bridge replacement in the amount of $543,530.90. Again, this drainage improvement is in the northeast part of the county in Plain Township to replace a culvert on Schleppe Road and improve 500 feet of storm sewer drainage between that structure and the county line with Delaware County. This resolution is the construction contract award with Buds Inc. We held a competitive bid on July 13th of this year. Fortunately, we had six bids and fortunately Buds Inc. had an acceptable bid. It was the lowest and best bid. And this also is a locally funded project. Therefore, the Franklin County Engineers Equitable Business Enterprise Program has been implemented with an EBE aspirational goal of 6%. Buds Inc. itself is a certified EBE and they plan to use follow the river. Therefore, the actual EBE per percentage is 100%. I hope my mute is not on at this point. Very happy about that, 100%. I think that's the, the kind of goal that we have for these types of programs. Thank you. Excellent. If there are no comments or questions, I'll move approval of resolution 594-21. Second. Moved and seconded voting. Commissioner Grady? Yes. Commissioner Boyce? Yes. Resolution number 594-21 has been adopted. Thank you, Mr. Thank you all very much. Have a great day. You, you can't have any more resolutions for the next month. <laughs> that's, that's a hit for you. I apologize, but I appreciate your patience. No, I'm just kidding. Thank you, sir. <laughs> all right. Next is our Emergency Management Agency, EMA. Resolution number 595-21. Resolution authorizing non-general fund supplemental appropriations in support of the Medical Reserve Corps. Good morning, commissioners. Jeff Young representing Franklin County Emergency Management and Homeland Security. Before you is a resolution approving a supplemental appropriations of $33,387. In 2021, or correction, in 2020, at the request of Franklin County and Columbus Public Health, Franklin County Emergency Management and Homeland Security assumed the duties of making of managing the Medical Reserve Corps within our other existing volunteer programs. These volunteers are resourced during times of disaster and over the past year, they've been utilized extensively in support of public health vaccination locations, providing in excess of 15,000 volunteer staff hours. Adding the Medical Reserve Corps to our other volunteer programs was approved by the agency's executive committee on July 22nd, 2020 with the associated intergovernmental agreement approved by the commissioners through resolution 0680-20 in October of 2020. Due to the timing of these agreements and our budget process, the revenue as well as the expenditures were not included in our agency's 2021 operating budget. And we are requesting that the necessary appropriations now be included. I'll gladly answer any questions and ask for your approval of this resolution. There are no comments or questions. I'll move to the resolution 595-21. Second. Moved and seconded voting. Commissioner O'Grady. Yes. Commissioner Boyce. Yes. Resolution number 595-21 has been adopted. Thank you. Thank you. Next, Veteran Services. Resolution number 596-21. Resolution authorizing a consultant contract extension with Samuel E. Smiley, DDS, for professional dental care consultation services. Good morning, County Commissioners and all the team around you that are so supportive to our agency and Franklin County veterans. I'm Buck Bramless, the Executive Directory Director. This first resolution um, concerns our dental program, which provides preventative and emergency dental care to the veterans, their spouses, uh, surviving spouses. Additional considerations uh, include dental treatment to assist in gaining employment and overall quality of life. Um, the eligibility is um, veterans that are at or below the 250% of the federal, federal poverty level. It includes preventive care, emergency care, also provides dentures, and finally, as needed, restorative care. Uh, restorative care tends to be very complicated dental considerations based on recommendations from dental providers, and this is where Dr. Smiley uh, generally provides his free consultation to our agency. Um, we uh, request approval of this resolution. There are no comments or questions. I'll move approval of resolution 598-21. Second. Excuse me, Commissioner. I'm sorry. We're at 596, sir. I apologize. 596-21. Second. Moved and seconded voting. Commissioner Grady? 
Yes. Commissioner Boyce? Yes. Resolution number 59621 has been adopted. I was thrown off by the fact that your dentist's name is Dr. Smiley. <laughs> <laughs> Resolution number 59721. Resolution authorizing a contract extension for Veterans Service Commission and Mike's Copy Works for consulting services for advertising and promo promotional media placement in the amount of $220,000. This uh, resolution helps the Veterans Service Commission, which we have a need to place advertising and promotional media to provide awareness to the general public, um, our partner organizations that also serve veterans, uh, and more specifically to the veterans of Franklin County or the programs, programs and services offered by this agency. Our agency has used Mike's Copy Works for the past two years with very positive results. Uh, Mike's Copy Works has provided assistance and guidance in the development and content uh, and the purchase of advertising and promotional information on and in media within Franklin County that, is, that has allowed the veterans services to communicate with our target audience. The term of this contract uh, is for a period through November 18, 2022, and may be extended up to one additional year upon the approval of this board. We request your approval of this resolution. If there are no comments or questions, I'll move approval of resolution 597-21. Second. Moved and seconded voting. Commissioner O'Grady? Yes. Commissioner Boyce? Yes. Resolution number 597-21 has been adopted. Have a great day and thank you. Thank you, you too. Next is the Office of Aging. Resolution number 598-21. Resolution approving Thursday, September 2nd, 2021 as Franklin County Office on Aging Day with the Columbus Clippers in the amount of $7,900. Good morning, commissioners. I'm Amy Funk, Assistant Director of Administration, and joining me this morning is Director Orbel Johns. The Office on Aging requests Thursday, September 2nd, 2021 be proclaimed proclaimed as Franklin County Office on Aging Day with the Columbus Clippers. This resolution seeks approval to provide admission and a thousand lunches, including bottled water, to Franklin County older adults attending the game. Pending any questions, I respectfully request approval of this resolution. If there are no comments or questions, I'll move approval of resolution 598-21. Second. Moved and seconded voting. Commissioner O'Grady? Yes. Commissioner Boyce? Yes. Resolution number 598-21 has been adopted. Resolution number 599-21. Resolution authorizing an agreement with RAMA Consulting Incorporated to design, facilitate, and administer a team building and developmental training exercise for Office on Aging supervision using DISC assessment in the amount of $3,620. Um, before we move, I'm going to have to uh, take a recess here. Um, and I'm going to need to confer with council. Okay. So if uh, we could just take a quick break, and um, Summer, if you would if you don't mind, thanks. On aging to have it uh, placed back on the agenda. Thank you. Next is our economic development planning. Resolution number 600-21, resolution authorizing the Board of Franklin County Commissioners to sign the attached discharge of mortgage promissory note instrument for the 2015 Franklin County Infrastructure Bank Loan with the Village of Marble Cliff. Morning, Commissioners. Director Jim Shimmer from Economic Development. Uh, commissioners, this is uh, a program uh, that I want to mention to you because uh, it started out with uh, our smart works program led to the infrastructure bank and this is an illustration of how successful the infrastructure bank program has been uh, back in october 27th of 2015 uh, the board of commissioners uh, allowed me to enter into a loan agreement uh, with the village of marble cliff for the provision of one hundred and twenty five thousand dollars for a 10-year period uh, the interest rate is 1.7 percent uh, and it was to assist uh, the village of Marble Cliff in the Cardigan Avenue water uh, improvement project. Uh, commissioners, as you will recall, um, the infrastructure bank is a government to government lending program. We lend money out to uh, communities to do economic development projects. Uh, in this specific instance, uh, the money was used for the construction of an eight inch water line along Dublin Road uh, and a six inch line along Cardigan Avenue as part of a phased uh, development project. 
uh, that established the Cardigan Avenue Commercial Industrial Park in the village. Uh, as part of the loan, uh, the village is uh, required to uh, create jobs. Uh, in this particular instance, uh, this uh, infrastructure bank loan uh, was originally established to create 40 new jobs uh, and open up this industrial park. I'm happy to tell you this morning that the project has actually resulted in 45 full-time permanent jobs. Uh, and uh, we are very pleased about that fact. Um, the village has uh, made payment of $72,000 to fully satisfy their obligations under the loan agreement. Uh, the purpose of this resolution this morning is to ask for you to sign and discharge uh, of uh, the promissory note that was associated with it. So, the full $125,000 plus interest uh, of approximately $7,500 is being paid in full. Uh, and I'm asking you to discharge uh, this promissory note this morning. Um, if you have any questions, I'm happy to answer them. Um, if there are no comments or questions, I will move approval of resolution 621. Second. Moved and seconded voting. Commissioner O'Grady? Yes. Commissioner Boyce? Yes. Resolution number 600-21 has been adopted. Resolution number 601-21, review of petition to annex 0 0.4 acres more or less from Mifflin Township to the City of Columbus, case number ANX-27-21. Good morning, Commissioners. Um, first of all, I want to make sure you can hear me. I've had a couple of issues with my microphone lately. We can, Jenny. Okay, great. Thank you so much. So this resolution is to consider an expedited type two annexation petition of 0.4 acres from Mifflin Township to the city of Columbus. The area to be annexed includes property located at 2540 Johnstown Road. That's south of and west of Johnstown Road. <clears throat> so I'm sorry. <laughs> That's um, west of Johnstown Road south and east of Interstate 670 and north of East 10th Avenue. Petition was filed by owners April M. Williams and Helen J. Williams on behalf of um, themselves. 77% of the site's perimeter is contiguous with the City of Columbus and the City passed Ordinance Number 1776-2021 on July 12, 2021, indicating the services that would be provided once the annexation is approved in a statement regarding possible incompatible land uses and a zoning buffer. Petition meets all statutory requirements outlined in section 709.021 of the Higher Revised Code. And pending any questions, we request your approval. Uh, if there are no comments or questions, I will move approval of resolution 601-21. Second. Moved and seconded voting. Commissioner Grady. Yes. Commissioner Boyce. Yes. Resolution number 601-21 has been adopted. Resolution number 602-21, resolution authorizing the Board of Franklin County Commissioners to sign the attached discharge of mortgage instrument for Eddie Crago at 6685 Darby Boulevard, Pleasant Township, Ohio, 43123. Commissioners, uh, Eddie Crago received a home loan uh, in May of 2006 for $3,150 on real estate uh, at 6685 Darby uh, Boulevard in Pleasant Township. Uh, the requirements for the housing loan have been satisfied, property taxes are paid in current, and I would respectfully ask the commissioners for your discharge of the mortgage associated on this property. Uh, there are no comments or questions. I'll move approval of resolution 602-21. Second. Moved and seconded voting. Commissioner O'Grady. Yes. Commissioner Boyce. Yes. Resolution number 602-21 has been adopted. Resolution number 60321, resolution authorizing the Board of Franklin County Commissioners to sign the attached discharge of mortgage instrument for John and Elsie Evener at 3739 Armnuth Avenue, Mifflin Township, Ohio, 43219. Uh, commissioners, uh, John and Elsie Evener uh, received uh, in October of 2006, excuse me, a home loan of $1,780 on real estate. Uh, they have, in fact, uh, met all of the requirements of the housing loan program. Uh, property taxes are paid in full and current, and I would respectfully ask the commissioners to sign the discharge of the mortgage associated with this property. There are no comments or questions. I'll move approval of resolution 60321. 
Second. Moved and seconded. Voting. Commissioner O'Grady? Yes. Commissioner Boyce? Yes. Resolution number 60321 has been adopted. Resolution number 60421, resolution authorizing the Board of Fra Franklin County Commissioners to sign the attached discharge of mortgage instrument for Elsie Evener at 3739 Armuth Avenue, Mifflin Township, Ohio, 43219. Uh, commissioners, uh, Elsie Evener, September 26, received a home loan for uh, $2,100 and 30, uh, one, $2,131. And 25 cents on real estate uh, associated with 39, 37. Uh, commissioners, the requirement of the housing loan has been satisfied. The property taxes are paid in full. And I would respectfully ask that the commissioner sign the discharge of mortgage for this property. Are there no comments or questions? I'll move approval of 60421. Second. Moved and seconded voting. Commissioner O'Grady? Yes. Commissioner Boyce? Yes. Resolution number 60421 has been adopted. Resolution number 60521, resolution authorizing the Board of Franklin County Commissioners to sign the attached discharge of mortgage instrument for Gloria Dittman at 5375 Evans Drive, Pleasant Township, Ohio, 43123. Uh, Commissioners Gloria Dittman received a home loan in the amount of uh, $2,170 on real estate uh, for her property at 5375 Evans Drive in Pleasant Township. Uh, the requirements of the housing loan have been satisfied. The property taxes are paid in current, and I would respectfully ask for uh, the commissioners to sign a discharge of mortgage associated with this property. There are no comments or questions. I'll move approval of the resolution 60521. Second. Moved and seconded voting. Commissioner Grady. Yes. Commissioner Boyce. Yes. Resolution number 60521 has been adopted. Resolution number 60621. Resolution authorizing the Board of Franklin County Commissioners to sign the attached discharge of mortgage instrument for Victor H. Alvarado Garcia at 694 Herlock Avenue, Franklin County, Ohio, 43119. Uh, commissioners, uh, Victor H. Alvarado Garcia, uh, in fact, received a $6,000 uh, home loan on real estate commonly known as 694 Herlock. Uh, Lane and Galloway, and the requirements of the housing loan have been satisfied. The property taxes are paid in current, uh, and I would respectfully ask that the commissioners sign the discharge of mortgage with this property. If there are no comments or questions, I'll move approval of resolution 60621. Second. Moved and seconded voting. Commissioner O'Grady? Uh, yes. Commissioner Boyce? Yes. Resolution number 60621 has been adopted. Thank you, Commissioner. Appreciate it. Thank you, Director. Next is Jobs and Family Services. Resolution number 60721. Resolution approving a subaward agreement with Lead the Way Learning Academy for the Remember Us Urban Scouts Youth Employment Program in the amount of $74,820. Good morning, Commissioners. Vivian Turner, Assistant Director. Urban Scouts, founded in 2019, serves and assists at risk youth living in the Linden community. The program focuses on social emotional learning and its impact on career readiness while providing youth ages 14 to 18 opportunities for personal and professional skill development. It is an eight week program, which includes four weeks of in-person career readiness training, followed by four weeks of work experience. The career readiness training program assists youth in exploring career interests, job search and placement, and developing entrepreneur and customer service skills. Through the paid lawn care landscaping work experience component, youth receive instruction on properly operating, repairing, and maintaining landscaping, landscaping equipment with the option to complete the OSHA safety certifications and more. The landscaping services are provided free of charge to elderly living in the Linden community. The funding allows Urban Scouts to serve 20 plus TANF eligible youth this summer. This resolution supports goal number four of the Rise Together Blueprint. And pending any questions, I request your approval. Yeah, well, my question is are these general funds or are we, what kind of funds are we using? The, these are TANF funds, Commissioner Boyce. Great, thank you. There are no further comments or questions. I will move approval of 607 21. Second. Moved and seconded voting. Commissioner O'Grady. Yes. Commissioner Boyce. Yes. Resolution number 60721 has been adopted. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioners. Thank you. Next is Justice Policy and Programs. 
Resolution number 60821, resolution approving a contract with Praxis International for consulting services related to the fiscal year 2020 Improving Criminal Justice Responses Program grant award from the Office on Violence Against Women in the amount of $24,000. Good morning, commissioners. I'm Kevin Greenwood, Deputy Director for Survivor Services with the Office of Justice Policy and Programs. Franklin County Office of Justice Policy and Programs in collaboration with the Columbus City Attorney's Office uh, applied for and received an, a fiscal year 2020 Improving Criminal Justice Responses Program grant in the amount of $900,000 to support a system-wide comprehensive review of current interagency protocols, policies, case processing procedures, and informa information sharing as it relates to the crimes of domestic violence, dating violence, sexual assault, and stalking. Other committed community partners include Choices, the Nationwide Center for Family Safety and Healing, the Columbus Police, the Franklin County Sheriff's Office, Prosecutor's Office, Public Defender's Office, and Probation Departments. <clears throat> Given the breadth and importance of this initiative, Praxis International will serve as a consultant for this project facilitating monthly virtual consultation sessions, a virtual overview for members of the Franklin County Blueprint Adaptation Team, training and orientation, and a review of materials related to the adaptation of the Blueprint for Safety to Franklin County. Funding from the ICJRP grant in the amount of $24,000 will support this service. To support the anticipated expenses in fiscal year 2021, a purchase order in the amount of $18,000 has been opened. Uh, I'd be happy to answer any questions you may have. If there are no comments or questions, I'll move approval of resolution 608. Second. Moved and seconded voting. Commissioner Grady? Yes. Commissioner Boyce? Yes. Resolution number 60821 has been adopted. Resolution number 60921. Resolution authorizing the receipt of the fiscal year 2020 Edward Byrne Memorial Justice Assistance Grant and granting authority to the President of the Board of Commissioners to sign all acceptance documents and waivers related to the grant program in the amount of $46,385.56. This resolution is presented to the Board of Commissioners for authorization to accept the fiscal year 2020 Edward Byrne Memorial Justice Assistance Grant in the amount of $23,192.78 from the Ohio Office of Justice Services as a pass-through from the United States Department of Justice Bureau of Justice Assistance. The purpose of this grant is to provide for the development and presentation of specialized training to CASA volunteer guardians at LIDEM. The grant will require a match of $23,192.78 from the Franklin County General Fund, bringing the total for the award to $46,385.56. I'd be happy to answer any questions regarding this resolution. If there are no comments or questions, I'll move approval of resolution 60921. Second. Moved and seconded voting. Commissioner O'Grady? Yes. Commissioner Boyce? Yes. Resolution number 60921 has been adopted. Thank you, commissioners. Thank you. Next is purchasing. Resolution number 61021, resolution approving purchases for various Franklin County agencies in the amount of $1,603,190.99. Good morning, Commissioners. Megan Perry Balanier, Director of Purchasing, presenting this morning with Marlies Wicker, Economic Equity Administrator in the Office of Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion. Commissioners, this resolution requests your approval of 99 purchase orders for which the county auditor has pre-certified available funding. And Marlies will provide the SEBE data. Marlies. Thank you, Megan. Good morning, commissioners. This week, 11 out of 14 eligible purchase orders are being presented for award to eight women business enterprise, one minority business enterprise, and two small and emerging businesses, totaling 200 $228,056.37, which equates to 79% of the eligible purchase order value and 95% of the eligible purchase order dollar value. The following agencies have increased supplier diversity of goods and services within Franklin County, public facilities management, domestic relations and juvenile court, data center, clerk of courts, engineer's office, the sheriff's office, 
and general services fleet. Any questions, commissioners? We respectfully request your approval of this resolution. All right, if there are no questions, I will move approval of resolution 61021. Second. Moved and seconded voting. Commissioner O'Grady? Yes. Commissioner Boyce? Yes. Resolution number 61021 has been adopted. Resolution number 61121. Resolution approving purchases for various Franklin County agents excuse me, various Franklin County agencies in the amount of $1,699,970.89. Commissioners, this resolution requests your approval of 107 purchase orders for which the county auditor has also pre-certified available funding. Marlies. And this week we have 11 out of 20 eligible purchase order values presented to award to seven WBEs Women Business Enterprise, I apologize, three minority business enterprise and one locally economic disadvantaged enterprise, totaling $108,698.13, which equates to 55% of the eligible purchase order value and 87% of the eligible purchase order dollar value. The following agencies have increased the fire diversity within goods and services of Franklin County, public facilities management, prosecutor's office, data center, Clerk of Common Pleas, Court, court, court I'm sorry, Court of Common Pleas, the Engineer's Office, and Sheriff. Thank you, Marlies. Pending any questions, Commissioners, we respectfully request your approval of this resolution. There are no questions. I'll move approval of resolution 61121. Second. <coughs> Moved and seconded voting. Commissioner Grady? Yes. Commissioner Boyce? Yes. Resolution number 61121 has been adopted. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, next board of commissioners commissioner if i might just one moment please yep. take your time recording in progress thank you commissioner resolution number 612 21 resolution authorizing supplemental appropriations within the federal emergency management agency fund for the distribution of the grant awards from the public assistance program with respect to covid 19. good morning commissioners zach telerick with the office of management and budget uh, this resolution would authorize supplemental appropriations in the amount of $6.1 million for reimbursement for projects with respect to COVID-19. This resolution also allocates $5.1 million in funding received to date, which includes $3.6 million to reimburse the county for costs incurred in 2020 to stand up the surge hospital at the Franklin County Convention Facilities Authority, and $1.5 million to reimburse the Community Shelter Board, for expenses incurred to provide non-congregate shelter during the COVID-19 declared uh, state of emergency. The resolution also authorizes the allocation of the remaining receipts from the public assistance program for the surge hospital for costs in 2021, as well as reimbursement to be received for vaccination efforts by Franklin County Public Health. Pending any questions, would ask for your approval of this resolution. There are no comments or questions. I'm going to approve the resolution 612-21. Second. Moved and seconded voting. Commissioner O'Grady? Yes. Commissioner Boyce? Yes. Resolution number 612-21 has been adopted. Resolution number 613-21. Resolution authorizing a supplemental appropriation in the Network Infrastructure Fund for the support of the Unified Computing System expansion. Uh, commissioners, this resolution would authorize supplemental appropriations in the amount of $699,000 for the expansion of the county's virtual server environment, as well as a transfer of funds from the general fund to the network infrastructure fund and approval of the purchase order. Uh, the network infrastructure fund was created in 2013 for the uh, network redundancy and reliability initiative, and monies continue to be set aside uh, for projects like this one that are identified in the data center's five-year infrastructure roadmap. Pending any questions, would ask your approval of this resolution. If there are no comments or questions, I will move approval of resolution 613-12. Second. Moved and seconded voting. Commissioner O'Grady? Yes. Commissioner Boyce? Yes. Resolution number 613-21 has Thank been adopted. You. Excellent. Thanks, Zach. Resolution number 614-21. Resolution appointing Kristen A. Easterday to the Franklin County Transportation Improvement District Board of Trustees. Good morning, Commissioners. Uh, Chris Long, Deputy County Administrator. Pending any questions, we'd recommend the appointment of Kristen Easterday to the Transportation Improvement District. There are no comments or questions. I'll move approval of Resolution 614-21. Second. 
Moved and seconded voting. Commissioner O'Grady? Yes. Commissioner Boyce? Yes. Resolution number 61421 has been adopted. Resolution number 61521. Resolution to accept and approve the material terms of the One Ohio Subdivision Settlement pursuant to the One Ohio Memorandum of Understanding and consistent with the terms of the July 21st, 2021 National Opioid Settlement Agreement and to approve and authorize the execution of the participation agreement for the One Ohio Subdivision Settlement with McKesson Corporation, Cardinal Health Incorporated, and Amerisource Bergen Corporation. Commissioners, the people of the state of Ohio and its communities have been harmed by the misfeasance, nonfeasance, and malfeasance committed by certain entities within the opioid pharmaceutical supply chain. The distribution of opioids, opioids was a significant cause of the national opioid crisis that led to the mass addiction and overdose deaths that affected both the state of Ohio and Franklin County. Under the settlement proposal, the distributors, Amerisource Bergen, Cardinal, and McKesson will pay up to $809 million to the state of Ohio and its political subdivisions over 18 years, with most of that money received being restricted in use and earmarked exclusively for the abatement of the opioid epidemic. This resolution reaffirms the board's adoption of the One Ohio Memorandum of Understanding, or the MOU, relating to the allocation and the use of the proceeds of any potential settlements described above. The One Ohio MOU has been collaboratively drafted to maintain all individual claims while also allowing the state and local governments to cooperate in exploring all possible means of resolution of the opioid litigation. The additional purpose of the One Ohio MOU was to create an effective means of distributing any potential settlement funds obtained under the MOU between the state of Ohio and local governments, including Franklin County, in a manner and means that would promote an effective and meaningful use of those funds in abating the opioid epidemic, as well as permitting the collaboration and exploring potentially effectuating an earlier resolution to any of those settlements. Nothing in the MOU binds any party to a specific outcome, but rather any resolution of the MOU requires acceptance by the state of Ohio and local governments. The settlement proposal before you is being presented uh, by the state of Ohio and local governments by distributors Amerisource Bergen, Cardinal, and McKesson, where those companies would pay up to $809 million to the state of Ohio and its political subdivisions over 18 years to resolve the government entity claims in the state of Ohio using the structure of One Ohio to distribute those funds under those conditions. This resolution, uh, with this resolution, the board would uh, agree to that settlement agreement with uh, McKesson, Cardinal, and Amerisource. Uh, and by positioning uh, uh, this settlement agreement as such, it is possible that the state of Ohio and Franklin County would receive, begin receiving some of those settlement funds as soon as this calendar year. Uh, so therefore, this resolution would approve and adopt the proposed settlement uh, agreement on behalf of Franklin County, uh, and approve the One Ohio Participation Agreement, which is attached to this uh, settlement, uh, with McKesson, Cardinal, and Amerisource Bergen. And if there were any additional documents consistent with resolution, this resolution would authorize the county administrator to sign such documents if any such documents were necessary. Uh, I know a number of other uh, political subdivisions across the state are doing the same, um, and uh, this um, uh, resolution uh, would require 95% of the litigating entities to be able to receive the uh, majority of the funds as outlined above. Pending any questions, would recommend your approval of this uh, resolution. If there are no uh, comments or questions, um, and I'm sure that there could be because we've had lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of conversation about this, but uh, I will certainly move approval of Resolution 615-20. I'd just like to add that, um, you know, th th this, I think, I, I don't know, it was trying to think of the right words. Um, this sign off in terms of the proposed settlement that's on the table is, is not Franklin County, what do I want to say? And, and, I, and I, I'm, I'm trying to be careful with my words because I want the public to understand that we understand that the devastation on the impact of opiates on Central Ohio is not resolved by any amount of settlement. To the families that have lost loved ones and the devastation that has happened, not just in our community, but throughout the state of Ohio, on nearly you know, over $800 million, nearly a billion dollars, 
is a substantial amount for any one kind of effort, it pales in comparison to the impact that it's had on our community. And so even though we're supporting what's been put on the table as a potential settlement, I just want to say to the public, you know, we know that the fight is still ahead of us to begin to rebuild a community that's been devastated by a lack of ethics and approach by certain parts of the distribution sector of America and the way it's designed. And so um, we ask for your continued patience, your continued support to work with us as we work to abate and mitigate and figure out a better future so that we can protect the families of Central Ohio. And we know we've got some serious work to do. And so I see this as uh, a very beginning of a new chapter to a conversation that allows us to begin to heal and grow in a way that makes us stronger. And we grow from uh, what's been a devastating experience, no matter what lens you look at this through. And so, um, you know, we at some point, we have to say, we've got to move on from the past in terms of um, the discussion about the impact and move toward an action of a difference. And that's, that's what this represents and signifies. And, and so um, after a lot of thought and review and many months of briefings and discussions, um, this is where we are. And um, the amount is not going to solve our issues and problems. Um, we've got to figure out how to leverage those resources so that it's, there's a greater impact. And, and that's hard work. And um, we want the families to know um, that have been affected out there, which is nearly every family, um, that we see you, we hear you, and we're working to figure it out. And there is no easy answer. The amount could have been three times that much and it would not solve the challenge that's before us. And so we start here, uh, but it's simply the beginning of a new moment for the county and working with the city and other partners regionally. Um, we know we've got some work to do, but we're committed to that. And, and, and this hopefully will be the beginning of the end of this era of opiate devastation. You know, Commissioner, the, um, you're absolutely correct. And the one thing to, I think maybe to add to that is, is we will continue to work with our legal counsel because you know, this potentially is not the end of the recovery um, of these dollars. There are, uh, this is just the, the recovery of the dollars from the distributors, but there are still pharmacies out there to go after. There are still, there are still others out there uh, that, that we believe are culpable and liable uh, for some of, this, uh, some of this devastation. And so we're going to continue to work with our legal counsel our prosecutor and others to uh, see if we can't recover more. Um, and so uh, you are 100% correct that I agree with you. That I'll second uh, the resolution that's been uh, moved to uh, adopt. Moved and seconded voting. Commissioner O'Grady. Yes. Commissioner Boyce. Yes. Resolution number 61521 has been adopted. Thank you. At this time, um, let's take a, um, at this time we're going to go into our briefing agenda. Uh, and come back for the final resolution, which is to vote to go into executive session. So we'll take just a short break and uh, transition into the briefing se session. Uh, we're going to uh, recess for five minutes. We'll be back at 1018. To our friends at CTV, if you need to drop off, uh, I will pay attention to see if the, the Chiron goes away. But we thank you for your service this morning. For those of you dialed in, you may stay in.